right, good morning friends. Today is our checkout day here in Williamsburg, Virginia. We have had such an amazing little getaway trip, getting to go to Bush Gardens, getting to experience some of Williamsburg proper, Colonial Williamsburg. It was such an amazing time. Now we are checking out here from Patrick Henry Square, our hotel that we stayed at, getting ready to do our little road trip home. So I don't know really what we're gonna get up to today on our road trip, but figured, you know, we always love our road trip. So I'm gonna document this and very exciting right now. We just packed up the car and we had some groceries that we got that we were like kind of eating breakfast and everything here in the room while we were staying here. And we had some leftover bananas. And you guys know we have some horse friends that are like right next door, like literally a couple steps away from the hotel. So we're gonna feed it to them this morning if they're out. <laughs> okay, so we just left out of the parking lot of our hotel there. We're on this pathway. This is where the horses were literally right here yesterday. I see the two of them. It must always be the same two that are over here in this field. They're down this way. We're gonna go see them. They're so cute. I think they're two little girls too. Oh, look at that bluebird. It's like a blue jay that just flew past. He was beautiful. We've seen lots of birds this trip. The cardinals, the state bird. Lots of pretty birds. All the animals. And yeah, over here on this side, you can see they have cattle over there in that field. This is such a nice area. I definitely recommend the place that we stayed, the Patrick Henry Square. We were very, very impressed with it. The horses spotted us. They see us coming. They're like looking like, oh, somebody's coming to see us. <laughs> Hi, babies. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. We have a banana, girls. Gotta share, though. Yeah, you gonna share? Oh, mm -hmm. you're so pretty. What do you think of that? You. And you get one too. Can they have the ends? Oh yeah. Eat a whole apple. Really? They eat the peel too? Yep. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you like it. Yeah, they're like, hmm. We want it peeled. You Thank like you. It like that. There you go. Oh, that's what you wanted. Now oh, peel it for. Her. <laughs> nope. So you'll eat it, won't you? Well, here's how you eat it. You eat it like this. <laughs> Is this a good <laughs> snack for the morning? Look, she said, yeah. <laughs> just let that go there. All right, bye, girls. It was nice meeting you. No, come here. Bye. <laughs> come here. They're so cute. Bye, girlies. So yeah, so this way was how we would head to go into Williamsburg proper down there. I think you can also go this way. It's all like that direction is Williamsburg proper, like the area that we explored yesterday in the morning. And our hotel here, the Patrick Henry Square here, our hotel was literally like a three minute drive to get to like that whole area back in there where um, William and Mary's College was, um, Merchant Square was. So this was a excellent, excellent location. It was then like maybe five minutes to drive to Bush Gardens. So definitely recommend it. The rooms were great. We liked having more like a little suite with the kitchen and family room and everything. So I would recommend this place for sure. Here it was, the Patrick Henry Square, which is by I, um, when we booked it, and every time we type it into the GPS, it says by Keese Vacations, K-E-E-S, I believe. But um, all their signage and stuff says that it is a blue-green vacations property. So look for that, either Keese Vacations or blue-green vacations if you're looking to book this resort. <laughs> the banana gave them some energy. Look, she's <coughs> moved over to here now. Bye, ladies. We'll see you next time. Stop doggies of the trip.
actually crossing through. There's Washington, D.C. right over there. You can see the Washington Monument. There's the Gaylord National where we stayed back like two years ago. And we are officially in Maryland now. Okay, so it is now a couple days later and I wanted to come on and do a proper like trip wrap up and everything on here. So we got home from our road trip and so a couple of things. We of course gave Mickey his present from Williamsburg. So I will go ahead and insert that footage right here because that was absolutely golden. So I will show you that and then I have something else that I want to show you because Orlando had made it from Williamsburg before the trip series ended, which made me so happy. So I'll get to insert that footage in here as well. But for right now, let me go ahead and show you Mickey because like, let's be honest, that's that's the content that everybody wants to see is Mickey getting his little ducks that we brought him back from Williamsburg. <gasps> Mickey, we got you a present from the arcade in Bush Gardens. Do you wanna see what we got you? We got you this. <gasps> we won you a duck. And we got you Look. An octopus? What do you think? What do you think? And a blue duck. What's that? And <laughs> who is that? Fishy. Those are all from the arcade. We won them for you. These are your toys. You got battle? Oh, there we go. Which one? We said the octopus was going to be his favorite. The octopus is your yes. favorite? That's what we said. <laughs> is it too late in the night to play? You want to lay with your new toys? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Mickey, you're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> why my baby okay so now the next thing if you guys remember when i did the pottery which like by the way that was one of my favorite experiences at bush gardens i just love that the caribou pottery getting to go in and actually paint the pottery yourself and it's just such a relaxing experience it was very nostalgic for me since i can remember doing that as a small child being in bush gardens so it just was so fun to get to go back and do that experience. So they told me when I checked out that it would be like four to six weeks until I would get the project sent to my house. And it ended up being maybe, let me think when I did that, it was like maybe a week and a half, like not even. Um, I was shocked like how quick it came. So very, very impressed with that service. I have a little clip here of the unboxing of Orlando. I will insert that, my little lizard Orlando that I made. Very impressed also with the packaging. They um, 
had him in bubble wrap wrapped around and then completely just like encased in packing peanuts like all around so like there was no chance he was gonna break on his way up here which is just amazing so yeah they did a great great job with that just the whole caribou pottery experience do that do that when you're in bush gardens so orlando he turned out great there's a couple little spots on him that i think i just caked up the paint too much because like his eye kind of is like runny but i kind of feel like it adds to the effect of he's like you know an art deco lizard or art deco gecko as somebody had put in the comments of one of the videos so yeah i absolutely love how it turned out he's gonna look so great in my future florida home but yeah i want to put up now a side by side because it's so i find it so fascinating that like when you are picking out the paints in there you really have to go by you can't go by the color of the paint in the bottle you really have to go by those little tile samples that they have there on the wall because once the paint like the paint looks so different from how it goes on to once it's actually goes through you know the whole kilming process and um just curing and everything that they do with um the pottery it then turns out so different so i want to show you the side by side of how orlando looked when i first painted him and how he looks now that he has been completely you know cured and everything and has the glazing on him I love how it turned out. The colors are so, so vibrant. So yes, there is my little art deco lizard that will look so great in my future Florida home. <laughs> okay, so yeah, those are the couple updates that I wanted to share with you. Love the fact that Orlando showed up before this vlog series ended. So now I'm gonna get back to posting my regular Disney content along with, I have a couple other things coming up here on the channel, like a fun kind of day out that I filmed around here where me and my family, we went mini golfing. Uh, went to one of our favorite little local restaurants, ice cream parlors, so I have that. I also went with my friend Mandy up to Hershey Park, so I have another Hershey Park vlog coming to the channel. Lots of exciting things coming, and yes, back to now, like this whole past week has been Bush Gardens, like I wanted to just post this whole trip to be current, but now we're getting back onto all the Disney content, and I am so, so excited to be editing Disney vlogs again. I, I'm just so happy. <laughs> So yes, lots of things to look forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching and all your comments and support on this trip series. I cannot wait to go back. Um, and just for all the support in general on my channel, I truly appreciate it. Please go ahead, um, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me those comments down below. As I always say, those things do go such a far way. The likes, comments, subscriptions really does go such a far way in helping to support me and support the channel. So thank you for taking the time to do all that. So with that, go ahead, make today magical, and I will see you very soon in my next vlogs. <laughs> Bye, guys!